have got local hero Luke Collins from Walkerton, North Carolina. Let's go! Then here we go, just looking good. And he's got it! He has made the eight seconds. Luke Collins now moves up to 48. Keep it. Cameron Leach here reporting for Black Tree TV. Uh, now I'm sitting with an icon in his respective industry. Mr. George Sim, how are you doing today? How you doing? Doing Thank well. You. So for a script that could seemingly be complex, how was it bringing two, how was it for you and describe that process for bringing two different love stories together? I think it, it, was, a, it was an interesting process because I love the idea that you got two different love stories. They all kind of connected thematically. But they, as a director, I wanted to bring two different styles to it. You know, one takes place in the 40s all the way up to 2007, and then one is in our modern time. Um, so what I love is that you can have two different styles, two different tones, mm -hmm. uh, two different wardrobes, style, hair, makeup. And then you got the modern world, which is completely all about dominated with art and then dominate with the bull riding sequences that we have in the film. So you mix that together, I feel as a filmmaker, you have a story that let audience least feel of where's the story's gonna go, where's it gonna take place. So it brings a sense of entertainment is that something to the romance genre, at least give you something feel that something different that is happening that we have seen before. So as a filmmaker, that's what I was striving for, to really make these two worlds feel completely different. But then by the time you get to the last 30 minutes of the movie, you start seeing together, how yeah. they all come together. Definitely. And you spoke on art just now. Um, can you just, and Nick spoke on this yesterday as well. Can you uh, note, what was it like for you, or what were you trying to go for with the different hues and tone of color from scene to scene? You know, what I really try to do is that really with the 40 story, is uh, with Ira and Ruth is that you have the Black Mountain College that was take place and we're starting in the 1940s. And then you have that all the way up into the World War II scenes and really the ideal of with Ruth being this individual from Vienna, mm -hmm. you know, a Jewish woman from Vienna who escaped World War II and she comes into this new world, North Carolina, and how this new world for Ira, this guy, Jewish, individual who just worked in the clothing store. He just worked in the back rooms and never really saw a woman so beautiful. So my ideas of warm and hued and the palette was just things were opening up for him as this beautiful woman came into his life. And she was someone who was much more worldly, much more culturally and knew a lot of art. He didn't have any respect for art at all. Yeah. So with that art and the palette, that starts to really make things colorful eye for eye as he began to see things completely different. But then you have the modern world, which is, you know, Luke and Sophia, which is all dominated by the PBR, mm -hmm. which is the bull riding. And yeah. you go to a bull riding event, you see colors, you see red, you see flash, flash and you see all these events. They play rock and roll, they play hip hop. You put all that together, these guys are like, um, like rock stars when they go to different cities. And that's why you see the line when he says, I met this girl last night. And, and she says, you says. meet girls all the time. Mm -hmm. And he says, but this one is different. And that just gives us the idea with that world of being shine and being sexy. But then you put these two worlds together, you have a collage of different colors that represent the, the actors and the story and the characters. Yes, my favorite uh, character in this film is, is Alan Alder's character, Ira, because uh, he pretty much brings the entire story together and He's, he's, he tells Britt Robinson's character about the journey, about the journey of love. Yeah. Um, Career-wise, can you speak on the journey of how you got to where you are today for anybody that may be inspired by your work? You know, it's so interesting, man. It's like so many people, you look back at your life, it's kind of like what Alan Alda was telling Sophia is that, you know, the longest ride is like this thing called life. You meet different people along the way, mm -hmm. and different people have their own um, thoughts that can inspire you along the way. Um, for me, it's a lot of individuals, man, growing up, you know, from film school to teachers in film school who really inspired me to tell um, stories and, you know, learning about neorealism, Italian filmmaking, the French New Wave, and, and how to tell stories that mean something. You know, I remember a film student, a film teacher in my film school was really pushing me, like, why you want to direct? Yes. Why you want to do it? He was really <laughs> pushing me. And, 
really penetrated, made me realize why I did want to do it. And then you look at filmmakers like Steven Soderbergh, Spike Lee, all these guys who I end, to meet, I end up meeting later in life, and it's just like, wow, you take little things from everybody, and then you put that in your life, and that becomes the longest ride, that becomes the journey, and you respect all those things. And that's what this movie kind of did for me, is that what Alan Alda character does, mm -hmm. is just stay in the moment. Don't worry about tomorrow too much. Like Luke and Sophia, just worry about mm -hmm. now. And it work itself out, and that's what happened with them. George, man, it's a pleasure to okay. meet you, man. Thank Thanks, you for that. Man. Right. Thank you, appreciate it. Yep. Same, man.